New at 11, these pictures just the beginning of a scary situation following a crash on I-480 during rush hour tonight. A car flipped, a baby trapped inside. The woman who helped save that baby telling the rest of the story only to News Channel 5's Home and Bash tonight. Yeah, Lee, she and other bystanders just jumped in to help. And it's amazing what you can do when the adrenaline is pumping and a baby's life is on the line. My heart just started pounding. I thought my, I was going to swallow my heart. A car flipped in on fire, and then Sarah Rayback saw what no one wants to see strewn across the interstate. Baby items like soaps, baby wipes, diapers, and everything. Within seconds, Sarah pulled up behind the wreckage on 480. She heard the baby's cries before she saw him. That was a different cry from a baby that I never want to hear again. And that's all it took before Sarah dove into the burning SUV and helped free the infant from his car seat. I'm scared of fire, but when I heard that baby crying, I didn't care. Thank you, honey. I just knew that that baby had to get out. There's too many kids dying now. Her training as a nursing assistant helped, but being the mom of Patience and John, well, that helped a whole lot more. Six. That's because Sarah knew exactly how to get the baby out of an upside down car seat when she saw the man inside the smoking car struggling. That could have been me and my kids. It was something that I never want to happen or go through. The mom, baby, and another child were taken to the hospital along with the man in the other car. Now, we spoke with that mom tonight, and she told us that they are all okay. They've been released from the hospital, but they're just sore now. She also said she wants to thank both people that helped rescue her baby, and words can't express how much that means. Reporting live tonight, Homa Bash, News Channel 5.